like Mike Patey says, back to work. Here I'm Clecoing in the uh, rear assembly. I had the tail cone sitting on two standard picnic tables, but bending over was killing me. So I found some tables on uh, the Home Depot website, and these are kind of cool. They're four feet long, and they're adjustable. The side skins have a J stiffener on the edge of the skin. These hook into the notches in the ribs, making it really easy to hang the skins while you grab your Clecos. Now for the flip side, just insert and hang. The next thing is to run a string from the front through the center of each rib, then through the stabilator control cable cutouts, and then back to the front. Why? I don't know why. Just do it. Now tape them down. Oh yeah, that's the garbage truck. Thanks a lot. Now for the trim control wire. This wire will lay inside the J-stiffener hook on the side sheet. The cable is then zip-tied into pre-drilled holes in the skin. The red tape on the wire lines up with the snap bushing. Just like the string, the cable is coiled up inside and taped down. Time to install the SD42 BSLF pedo blind rivets. The problem with these pedo rivets is the mandrel is almost always left inside and must be removed. I picked up a scrap piece of one before and drilled an enlarged 1 8 inch hole into it so the pop rivet would go inside. Now to put the pop rivet holding the mandrel into the hole in the wood and tape it in place. I picked up an old mandrel from a previous pop ribbon and cut off a short piece. I shortened the mandrel even more to make it stick out of the hole just a little bit. Then I stuck it in the pedo hole. Then I put a C-clamp in place on the wood and on the short mandrel. Then I tighten the C-clamp until I heard the mandrel pop out. Let's see if it worked. Yep, I heard the mandrel drop out. Now for the static air system. Here I've cut two 24 inch lengths of clear plastic tubing to go between the static ports and the T. Now to put the 1H plastic tubing over both static line ports. This is a tube of clear RTV silicone that I'm going to use on the static ports. I uh, found it at Home Depot. I went to the paint section, but they didn't, it wasn't there. Turns out it was in the tool section. Kind of strange. I put a generous portion 
of RTV on both static ports and then smoothed it off with a popsicle stick. I routed the right static tubing up inside the rib using zip ties and the pre-drill holes. The zip ties are pulled tight on the right side of the rib, but not on the left. I cut a 15 inch piece of the quarter inch tubing to go on the plastic tee. And also a small 7 16th inch piece of the 1 8 inch plastic tubing. Here I'm taking the small piece of 1 inch tubing and sliding it onto the tee. And borrowing my wife's hair dryer again, I heated up the end of the quarter inch tubing to slide over the 1 8 inch tubing. Now for the installation of the plastic tee with all the plastic tubing. All that's left now is to run the rest of the quarter inch tubing for the aft pedo line. The zip ties on the left side are left loose for any additional tubing or wires. Thanks for watching this video. If you would, please consider subscribing to this channel. Thanks.